Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakran with the Vice Visibility Engineering team. This video demonstrates how to set up Windows installer logging for troubleshooting CI installation and updates. This is the desktop of the Windows 2008 R2 server where the CIE application is installed. In order to enable the Windows installer logging, I click on Start, click on Run. The Windows Run prompt, type in the following command gpedit.msc. Click on OK. This will open up with a local group policy editor page. Under the computer configuration, open this tree, Administrative Templates, and open the Windows Components. Under Windows Components, locate Windows Installer. In the Windows Installer, you'll find a parameter called Logging. So you need to double click on this. This opens up with the Windows Logging page. So under the Logging, you need to select Enabled. And under the Options, I type in the following command. I-W-E-A-R-U-C-M-P-V-O. Let's have a quick look into what the different logging levels mean in Windows Installer Log. This is the logging window which is open on my desktop. And we can see the different logging levels which is highlighted here. The letter I stands for status messages or notifications. The letter W stands for the non-fatal warnings. The letter E stands for all the error messages. The letter A stands for startup actions, whether a DLL or EXE has been successfully loaded. The letter R denotes any action-specific words. The letter U denotes the user requests. The letter C denotes the UI parameters. And the letter M denotes out of memory. The letter P stands for the terminal properties, V for verbose output, O for out of disk space messages, and X for extra debugging information. These logs get written to the msi.log in the temp folder. Once I enter the verbs against the logging parameter, click on apply to apply the changes and click on OK. Now the system is configured in the event of disruption midway of installation or service pack updates. I'm now the run prompt of the start menu of the CI server. I type in the following command percentage temp percentage and click on OK. This opens up with the temp directory and you'll find the msi.log will be written over here. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome your comments, questions or feedback at mentor at abaya.com or at abaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other related technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.